What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I was looking for a boom shotgun mic for my iPhone, and I found this cheap one. So this one was not very expensive at all, and I thought we would give it a try. You can see here, it's just a fairly standard looking, you know, shotgun mic. And because of its price point, I thought we'd give it a try, because if I can improve the audio quality, especially when I have a, a, a longer distance shot, it tends to pick up all of the sound in the room, and that's kind of typical. Uh, comes in this box and we get the furry windsock here. These are great for outdoors when it's actually really windy You know that actually does make a huge difference. You don't get that scratching uh, muffled sound We also get a uh, pop filter here. That's what they call. I think they're called windsocks too, but you want these when you're talking to it so that your uh, Breath doesn't make popping sounds into the microphone. We have a little drawstring uh, Naga hide like a bag here a little vinyl bag and then inside, hopefully we should find this Mookie, not monkey, Mookie microphone. And, oh, it comes with all the little stuff in here. All right, so, first of all, you get two cables. And that's pretty important because depending on what you're plugging this into, a camera, DSLR, um, in my case, a headphone adapter to an iOS device, uh, they'll use the TRS or the TRRS. You can see this one, I think, is two TRSs, and this one is a... TRS to TRRS adapter right there, and that's the one I think I'm going to need. Just FYI, if you're using an iOS device, I think you're going to plug that sucker in there. Um, I will tell you right off the bat, I want to show you this. You might be able to see that it's slightly bent. So uh, I think, you know, hopefully it works, but especially when you're kind of going downstream in quality, you can kind of expect some of those things. We have the mount here, and as you can see, it's just single. Sometimes they have uh, two. Um, kind of cradles to hold the microphone in place. So this is just a single one. I would also say that oftentimes they kind of wind around and allow this to kind of have a little bit more movement, but this seems pretty rigid. So even though I think it will help to isolate it from any shocks or noise kind of being transmitted through, um, you know, touching this, uh, it's probably not the best one I've ever seen. That's to be expected again. We do have all plastic hardware down here where you attach this to the shoe. So you have a little plastic collar there and then boom the microphone itself if i just open this up it looks pretty standard you know it kind of feels like a little pen flashlight it's aluminum you can see we have some cutouts here and you can see the grate through there uh, but then we have a little metal mesh over the microphone itself usually you will have this pointed right in the direction that you want to pick up from and uh, i think usually they have about a 60 degree spread so you want to be within that because that's going to really pick up that sound and amplify it. Uh, and that's mostly what you're going to get. Now, when I test this, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn on the running water in the sink there. And I'm going to open up the air vents so that I've got some wind noise as well as some uh, water running noises. And I will take some footage with the built-in microphone. And then we will take some footage with the audio captured out of this microphone. So I'm gonna get this all set up and we'll try it out. All right, as promised, I have turned on the sink and I've got it on full blast. It is splashing water and I've opened up the air vents so that I'm getting as much ambient noise, kind of hopefully drowning me out. I also am hoping, because I'm using the built-in microphone on the camera to capture this audio and video, that uh, it also sounds maybe a little bit tinny and a little bit um, echoey, you know, maybe a little thin because, you know, it's it's not really focusing in on me and, you know, as I'm speaking, it's just kind of broadcasting all that sound out and bouncing off stuff and then hitting that microphone. So maybe there's just a little bit of that kind of uh, echo to things or kind of that hollowness to it. And so now we will just go ahead. I haven't changed anything on the settings. Just plug in the microphone and see if it's any better. Okay, so I just plugged in the microphone and hopped back into place. Still got the water running and splashing over here, wind blowing, and so hopefully you'll have to be the judge, but you tell me that I'm hoping that it's picking up my voice. You're probably not getting that really slight faint echo to it. Hopefully it sounds warmer, richer, fuller, and um, despite the fact that a lot of these shotgun mics do pick up sounds that are, uh, you know, outside of the cone that it's picking up on, you're still going to hear it, you know, whether it's people talking or crowd or nature noise or whatever that hopefully all of that outside noise, which you were just listening to, is, is dampened, um, quieter, softer, less distracting, certainly less 
equalized to what I wanted to pick up. So you be the judge on it. This is a really cheap little shotgun microphone by Mookie. And, you know, for 25 bucks, I'm really hoping that it's an improvement over what I would normally get. And I will continue to use it and hopefully have some better audio for all of you. Now, if you want to pick this up and try it yourself, I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.